I'm Cheryl Waters. You're listening to The Midday Show on KEXP 90.3 FM in Seattle and streaming at kexp.org. Today we're streaming on Facebook Live because we've got a giant dog in studio. Welcome. So fantastic to have you here. And you're going to play songs mostly from your new album, Toy? Yep. Take it away. A giant dog live on KEXP. <laughs>
A giant dog live on KEXP. So great to have you here today. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. You are known for your amazing live shows. And Sabrina, we weren't even two seconds in and you rocked your headphones off. We have a regular listener, uh, listens daily from Texas, said they saw you at Hotel Vegas a couple years ago. So excited to have you live on the air today. By the way, we're streaming this uh, live video on Facebook Live so people can see this great live show. Your new album is called Toy. And uh, those songs, both from the new record, I feel like uh, you could make a record in the future titled just from your tile, titles. It, it could be Toy Pile Bone Fight. That'd be a fun <laughs> record <laughs> title. We have people suggest titles for us all the time. I love those short, simple titles, but when I laid them all out, I'm like, that's a title all in itself, just <laughs> all four of those records. Uh, we mentioned that your live shows are just so amazing and dynamic, and it sounds like on this new record, you just put the live set right down on the record. Can you tell me about Making Toy? Uh, yeah, I mean, we all, it's genuinely like a live performance. We recorded with a guy named Stu Sykes in Austin. Oh, he's a great yeah. producer. <laughs> yeah, he's got a uh, good catalog of artists he's recorded. But yeah, most of the tracks that we record, and it, we've just always done it that way. Like our first record we recorded in our garage, just facing each other, kind of similar to this atmosphere. I um, heard that you went into the studio and had some songs yet unfinished. Is that something that kind of inspires you to just get down to the wire there, or did that make you a little bit nervous? Yeah, that's new to us. It Ty is? Yeah, typically we go in and have everything already uh, planned out, even like strings and horns and stuff like that. It's all like well thought out. So this is the first time we kind of went in there blind and some cool stuff came of it, I think. I think it's a great, yeah. I, I mean, it makes you wonder if you would want to do something like that in the future or it's like, phew, we don't want to do that again. <laughs> that was nerve wracking. I think we're down to do about half and half. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good. Um, some of the lyrics on this uh, record are pretty racy and uh, keeping it radio friendly. I'm just curious if that was really vulnerable for you as a band to go in that direction. It's very exciting um, to hear those songs and to see them performed live. Yeah. I Wait, mean, was, it, was that a question? Yes. Yeah, oh, so I mean, just like say, I mean, did it feel vulnerable as a band to to go in that direction? Or I mean, I've tried never to censor. Uh, myself lyrically. Um, what feels more vulnerable than what lyrics are racy or maybe um, what makes me more uncomfortable than saying things that are vulgar are saying things that are um, scary, truthful and revealing, um, exposing the fact that it's, it's pretty painful to live day to day. Um, putting that in rock and roll where it feels like there's no place for that kind of sentimental struggle. Um, that's what feels more vulnerable to me than saying, <laughs> you know, the seven words we're not supposed to say in this room right now. A lot of artists talk about that aspect of music and that when they finally can break out of that and share with people, it opens up a whole world and it really helps fans to know that the people that they look up to are struggling and having the same feelings that they are. Since you have sort of gone in that direction, have you experienced that at all? I, I have it. I have experienced um, yeah, some fans that are overwhelmingly positive, warm, um, especially our Seattle audience last night. They were, uh, they were yelling for 10 minutes for us to come on stage while we were getting ready. Um, is it the, the personal connection between the, the songs and the audience that's making them that way toward us, or is it the live performance, or is it a little bit of all of it, I don't know, but what I know right now is that it feels like um, sometimes I don't feel even capable of doing what I've, like I've started something I can't finish. Um, you know, I've got these screaming people in a room excited and they're expecting everything and I feel like there's not much left of me sometimes. And then, um, you know, halfway through a show, I'll find myself um, discovering new things about people and about um, what they can do for me and what I can do for them. It sounds a little painful and uncomfortable for you, but I mean, it must make for just a really visceral and honest and exciting show. So no wonder they're stamping their feet for 10 minutes. 
Well, it's so exciting to have you here. We've got a giant dog live here in the KEXP studios, a new album called Toy. What have you got next? It's not called Roller Coaster. Oh, I love this one. Just rocking so hard. We're live on KEXP with a giant dog, also streaming live video on Facebook Live. And love to hear one more.
out of breath. A Giant Dog live on KEXP. I cannot recommend this band enough live. Thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, this was great. That was incredible. The new album called Toy out on Merge Records. You've got a tune to KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at kexp.org.